Captain McDermott, it's I, Corporal Savage. Sir, I'm here for my debriefing of Company of Heroes 2. May I take a seat? Joining me now is Captain James McDermott, associate producer on Company of Heroes 2. James, we're in this amazing location here. We're in your, your central hub, the HQ. Uh, tell us about Company of Heroes 2, and for those of us who haven't played the first one, what this game is really all about. Well, Company of Heroes 2 is a tactical RTS. Uh, so it's part of that strategy genre, but it's really about the up-close personal nature of war. We're really focused on the moments, moment battles that take place and all the intricacies that go along with that. So we give you the tools as a commander to lead these forces into battle. And uh, Company of Heroes 2 is the sequel to the original Company of Heroes, which was the highest rated strategy game of all time. And this time you're going to take command of the Soviet Red Army on the eastern front of World War II Europe. What kind of natural elements as well as um, physical ones are the troops going to experience during the course of the game? Sure, well we've invested in an engine, uh, it's called Essence, uh, this is Essence Engine Free. It provides a whole heap of technology and new systems that help support the gameplay of Company of Heroes. And that means there's a lot of environmental gameplay. The Eastern Front was a cold, uh, barren front and we want to bring that to life in the game. So you're going to experience minus 40 temperatures, uh, but that's not just going to be uh, purely a visual aesthetic, you're actually going to feel it with your troops. As they move through the world, they'll experience blizzards, they will get hypothermia and they will die if you don't keep them warm or keep them in cover. And you're going to have to use your engineers to build fires and, and keep those guys alive as they move through the world. You're also going to see that the snow is dynamic, that it builds up on areas of the map uh, and it will impair the troops' movements as well. But it also leads tracks, so if you're, uh, if you're, you're hunting a tank, you'll be able to follow those tracks through the snow and, and figure out where the enemy is hiding. Be careful on ice as well. We don't want to forget that because that's uh, that stuff has a tendency to break. Ice can be very precarious in the game. Uh, yes, it can break. It can be uh, deteriorated by simply moving your troops across the ice. So if you have a big heavy tank uh, and you move several of those across the ice, you're going to see it deteriorate. That means that there is an opportunity that it could fall through the ice, or if an enemy takes it out, it's going to just take one hit, and that I, that that tank is going to an icy, icy graves. In terms of the actual. Um historical accuracy of the game. It, it spans over four years, is that right? It spans from 1941 to 1945. We're going to take you from the initial stages of Operation Barabosa, as it was known. That was the German invasion of Russia, a surprise attack. You're going to see that the Russians get pushed all the way back to the gates of Moscow. And that's where you're going to pick up uh, the fight. You're going to pick it up just where winter and uh, the weather started to play a very crucial effect in, in the war. And, and you're going to take those troops and push them through to Stalingrad, uh, the famous battle of that siege break that siege, and then all the way through to the Battle of Berlin in the final days of World War II. In terms of uh, Company of Heroes 1, in comparison to the sequel, what kind of what, what traits have you kept from the first game and what ones have you added into this one to really give it a, you know, a oomph when it comes out? Yeah, well the key of Company of Heroes is really that moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Every tactical decision has a choice and a consequence. We didn't want to break that compulsion loop. We wanted to maintain that and give more variety to it. So really Company of Heroes 2 is about uh, enhancing that with visual fidelity, the look and feel of it, the new engine, the cold tech system and what that brings in terms of the uh, the movement of the troops through the snow and the hypothermia and the breaking of the ice. We're just trying to add more and more layers so that uh, you as a player and as a commander have more opportunities and ways to outwit your enemy because uh, your enemy is going to get more sophisticated as well so their tool set is exactly the same as yours uh, and you need to use every trick you have in your bag to to win this game. Well, Captain, do you think I've got what it takes to be to be one of one of your units you think? I, I'm, I'm happy to put you out into the breach and see what happens. I think you'll do all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna sign up here on the dotted line. Join the unit right here. Best of luck with Company Heroes 2, and uh, good luck to me for surviving the fray.